I'm almost sure. All right, here we go. For some reason, I got penile dysfunction. What's going on, everybody? It's your rifle here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you where Zer's at and what he has in store for us. I'm sure a lot of you already know, and you're like, Rifle, what the heck? It's Friday, and he's been out for quite some time now. Why are you so late? Well, as you guys know, Rifle's slowly getting back into gear. I'm getting my fire started. Actually, I'm starting my own fire on me. That makes no sense. All right, Zer's located right here. This was actually his first location. Fun fact. Anyways, what he has for us today is absolutely beautiful gear. He's starting out with the Ruin Wings for the Titan. It's absolutely amazing. I, I can't show you a preview because I'm not a Titan. Sadly, I'm not a Titan. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. Anyways, reading the perks all for you guys. Heavy ammo drops more often and contains more ammo in each drop. Causing damage with melee reduces your grenade cooldown. And increased reload speed with special weapons. Don't mind if I do, just because of the heavy ammo drops more often. Heck yeah! So, for those of you that want a good pair of gauntlets for the Titan, I highly suggest these. Yes, that's right. I just said that. I highly suggest them. Up next is the Aquafidge Symbiote! And this helmet is absolutely beautiful. If you don't have this helmet and you're a gunslinger for the freaking Hunter, well then I highly suggest this as well. Freaking Zer's gear is, it's all amazing. It's all amazing. Obsidian Mine up next for the Warlock. It's an absolutely beautiful helmet. I don't know why I keep saying absolutely. It's just my word today. Actually, I take that back. I'm pretty sure beautiful is my word today. Just because Friday is a beautiful day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Anyways, starting out with the perks, increases grenade throw distance, increased super energy gain from killing minions of the darkness. Now that's a beautiful perk. Nova Bomb kills reduce the cooldown of your next Nova Bomb. That's also a beautiful perk, especially if you're a Nova Bomb kind of guy. Which I am, in the Crucible anyways. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I am. The Aquafish Symbiote, I forgot to go over this. You actually get four shots with the Golden Gun. That's why it is very useful for the Gunslinger, for the Hunter. So if you don't got this helmet, and you are a Hunter, and you like using the Gunslinger, once again, freaking buy it. Pretty much everything Zer is selling, even the multi-tool. This is absolutely amazing weapon, in the Crucible especially. Since you know they did that whole buff with the Scout Rifle, you guys should know Scout Rifles are beautiful. And this Scout Rifle just looks beautiful, so why not buy it? Well, some of you are probably like, what the heck are you talking about? The multi-tool sucks, rifle. Well, it doesn't suck. I promise you, this thing absolutely destroys in the Crucible. You know what? I'm buying it right now in front of your guys' eyeballs. No, shit. I shouldn't have... Actually, yeah. Now I'm also going to buy the Obsidian Mine just because I want the Obsidian Mine. And I'm also collecting Warlock Exotic Gear right now. And the Obsidian Mine is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Bootyful. Everything Zer is selling is absolutely phenomenal. All this right here, he is selling. If you have a Titan, get this. If you have a Hunter and you don't have this, get this. If you have a Warlock and you don't have this, get this. And if you don't have the multi-tool and you're kind of one and you're like, hmm, I'm a scout rifle kind of guy. You know, I kind of get orgasms using the scout rifle. Well, then buy it. I'm telling you. All right, all right. And I know some of you are wondering, why is the multi-tool good, rifle? You gave this whole explanation. It's all awesome because of the buff and whatnot. But why is it good? Now, I know, I get it, it's good in the Crucible, but why? In case you guys are wondering why, well check out this perk. This weapon boosts move speed and fires on hair trigger. You know what that means, right? Neither do I. I'm just kidding. That perk makes this scout rifle a freaking scout rifle. This scout rifle actually fires pretty freaking fast. And scout rifles can wreck in the Crucible. So that's why this scout rifle is good for Crucible. I don't really know about this perk. I mean, yeah, that's good and all. Alright, my radar stays active while I'm zooming in. That's always nice, that's always nice. And not to mention the lightweight, when held, this weapon grants plus two to character agility. That's awesome, just because, well, you're moving faster. So you can dodge bullets, you know, do your little strafing technique. Anyways, yeah. Quick draw on Field Scout, but it already has a pretty high magazine size. But you can always use that Field Scout to increase your magazine size in case you don't like that. You're like, you know what, Rifle? I don't like the number 21, so I kind of want to increase my magazine size and make it a little higher. Well, then use that Field Scout. But preferably, if you're doing some Crucible matches, go with this. And the reason, I mean, look at the statistics real quick. 
Look at how high the reload is. It doesn't matter if you have a low magazine size. You're going to be reloading like you're freaking, uh, I don't know, some kind of crazy-ass sharpshooter. I didn't, couldn't think of nothing off the top of my head, but you get it. You freaking reload extremely fast. So having a high magazine size is always nice, yes, but you're not going to be waiting a long time to reload. And not to mention, the magazine size isn't even that bad. Unless you're one of those picky mother uckies when you're all like, whoa, that person's pinky toenail looks weird. If you're one of those judgy mother uckies, well then I highly suggest you to use that field scout. It might help you calm your nerves. Just because there's nothing wrong with moving faster. That helps you actually dodge bullets. That's a for real note. Yeah. That's a for real note right there. Oh yeah. Fulfill your needs. Freaking go on a shopping spree this week, I'm telling you. Surgeon of 9 I don't know what it is with you, but this week, you're selling awesome stuff. Freaking awesome stuff. And as you guys can see, the upgrade equipped exotics, if you find something in here and you're like, oh, that actually looks better. For instance, you see how the strength is at 170 and your freaking Crest of Alpha Loopy is lower than 170. You're like, you know what? I use the Crest of Alpha Loopy a lot, but I don't have high strength on it. Well, then freaking get the Crest of Alpha Loopy. Upgrade your equipped exotics. That's what these are for, guys. These are for that. Not just to turn your weapons into version 2. But yeah, guys, that's about it for Zur. Thanks for checking out my Zur video this week. I plan on, you know, continuing my Zur videos every week. You know, your old rifle will always be around. Yeah, always be around. That creepy eye stare. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, hey, what are you doing? Why are you looking at me? I saw you checking out my ass. What the f- Why are you still looking at me? Oh, you approaching me, huh? You appro- Oh, you getting real close. You getting real close. Let me follow you. Let me- See? It doesn't feel right, does it? That's one noise ass you got created on you right there. That's my pickup line. How are you gonna take it, baby? Alright, guys. Thanks for checking out my Zerv video. If you enjoyed the video, Please, as always, remember to leave a like. It's much appreciated by your old rifle. But I'm out of here, though. Thanks, everyone, for taking the time to watch my video. Peace. Pizza. It kind of sounded like I said pizza. I'm hungry now. And in today's video, I wanted to show you some nice spots to use on the Nexus Strike. Now, it's your choice to use these if you want to. I'm not saying, hey, use these, use these, you must use them. But they can be pretty useful, so if you decide to use them, hopefully they help you out. And not to mention, it's just always fun to switch it up a bit, you know, try out some new things.